We have received recent information that one of the Philippine Air Force's T-129BATAK attack helicopters at Turkish Aerospace Industries in Turkey appears to have been completed. This unit is one of the last two units to be delivered to the Philippine Air Force in the next few months as part of the Philippine Air Force's attack helicopter acquisition project under the RAF-PMP Horizon 2 phase. The Philippine Air Force currently has four units of the T-129 Atak attack helicopter. And this also proves that the T-129 Atak does meet expectations. The Philippine Air Force previously ordered six T-129 Atak attack helicopters, with the last delivery expected to arrive in early 2024. With the current progress, it appears that the delivery of the last two units will be accelerated, and hopefully in 2023, all deliveries will be completed. The Philippine Air Force plans to have at least 12 to 18 units of these attack helicopters in their inventory. The Department of National Defense is in the process of securing funding to acquire more T-129 attack to increase the fleet size to at least one squadron, or two if lucky. The Philippine Air Force, satisfied with the helicopter's performance and uptime, plans to order a second batch of six T-129s. The country calculates the need to acquire a total of 24 helicopters to form a fleet and aims to acquire 12 helicopters for the first time in the coming period. The force hopes to have 18 helicopters in its inventory by next season. The T-129 ATAK is a twin-engine, tandem-seat, all-weather attack helicopter based on the Agusta A-129 Mangusta platform. The ATAK program was launched in response to the Turkish Armed Forces' need for tactical attack and reconnaissance helicopters. The Philippines is the first export market for the T-129 ATAK helicopter as a previous order from Pakistan ran into export license issues for subsystems supplied by a United States-based company, which forced Pakistan to cancel its order. Along with engine, transmission, and propeller upgrades, Turkish developed avionics, airframe modifications, and weapon systems were integrated into the Augusta Westland A129 airframe. Other upgrades include rotor blades. The total contract cost for the purchase of the six T-129 helicopters is Philippine pesos. Based on what the Philippine Air Force has shown previously, the T-129BATAK attack helicopter is delivered along with a 70mm ROKETSAN Sirat missile, a 19-round rocket launcher for 70mm unguided rockets, as well as an M197 20mm three-barrel rotary built-in cannon. The T-129 can also be optionally armed with rockets and UMTAS anti-tank missiles and air-to-air -air Stinger short-range air-to-air missiles, which the Philippine Air Force has yet to acquire. Turkish Aerospace Industries has delivered the second batch of two T-129BATAK attack helicopters to the Philippine Air Force. Deliveries began in March 2022 and the remaining two helicopters are expected to be delivered in 2023 to Clark Air Base, Pampanga. The deal was signed in 2020. Philippine Defense Page Max Defense Philippines said that Turkish Aerospace Industries is trying to fast-track the deliveries of the T-129B helicopters. As deliveries should have been completed by 2021 if not for the political conflict between Turkey and the United States over Ankara's decision to procure the S-400 air defense missiles from Russia, which halted American approval to export helicopter engines to Turkey. The Philippine Air Force is acquiring six T-129s in line with the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, Modernization Plan, Horizon 2. 
The 15th Attack Wing of the Philippine Air Force will operate the helicopters for close air support and armed surveillance and reconnaissance missions. The T-129s will join earlier examples delivered early this year, as well as other attack helicopters of the Philippine Air Force, including the Bell A-1S Cobra, Augusta Westland AW109E Power, and McDonnell Douglas MD520MG Defender, with the 15th Strike Wing.